what God has already called you to do? See, what, so what happens? We limit ourselves to one level. And we're always going back to someone to validate what God has already called you to do. It's called elementary issues. And I understand someone at first should lay hands on you, and, but, but I should not have to lay hands on you every week. Hmm? Oh, do you hear what I'm saying? Amen. That you feel prepared to do what God has called you to do. When if God has called you to do what God has called you to do, go do it. Right. Amen. We need to be more, more in, in, in power with God. We need to be more ready to fight the fight, the good fight of faith. We don't need to be always crying out, oh, I didn't make it, oh, the pastor, it didn't work. If it didn't work that time, go back again. There should be a, a word that sticks down in your spirit and stays with you and propels you in your next level of dimension. Are you hearing me today? It does not say we should leave repentant. No, I don't say that. But that we should come to a place in God that we are not preoccupied with our immoralities. I know people for 20 years walking with the Lord, still coming back, back backslide. Am I right about it? Coming to the Lord, backslide. I repent because I, I did it again. Oh, I didn't mean to do it again. It's a cycle. It's a cycle, and after years and years, you need to understand that there are certain points of your life you need to put off the dead rudiments of this world and put on the Lord Jesus Christ and be moved on and move on in the Lord. Say someone, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. And when I'm blessed, I need to move on. Amen. Amen. It doesn't mean I'm perfected. It doesn't mean that I won't make mistakes. It doesn't mean I won't need God's grace and mercy. But I, you ought to move past the danger zone of living out on the edge of the backsliding and come to a point I mean, that God is God's grace and his mercy and his everlasting power is in my head. I may need God's grace, yeah. I may need his mercy and God's forgiveness, yeah, on a daily basis. But you have to come to a place that these things are backsliding and coming back, starting over again five, six, seven years. Huh? It's time for you to go on to perfection. Amen. Oh God, hear me out. We need to go on to perfection and develop into maturity. Or do we know what maturity is? See, what that, see, I have to stop here because, see, you know, the one thing that we have to understand that as long as the devil can keep us at a, at a point in our life and always got to come back and always got to always got to wait for someone to lay hands on us, always got to wait for someone to speak into our lives. Huh? You know what? You're going to be messed up all your life. Because there's people out in the world, they're speaking to you, but they're messed up themselves. You know, someone want to speak a word to me, I dissect what they say to me. I go to the word of God and say, is this what it is? Yeah, I go to God and say, God, I know you brought me through some things. God, I've been praying about it. Is this what God, what you've been what you've been talking about. And if it don't line up with the word of God, it don't line up with what's going on in my life, I sit there and I shake the devil off and I move up again. Mm. You see, 
can see. Whew. See, sometimes we need to understand our part of life. That we have human experiences. And you're going to have human experiences. And you're going to have prayer continually. Because I am a human. I need to eat every day the word of God. The word is like it says, the word has to be a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway. Oh, do you understand? Because I'm a human being with a fleshly body, hallelujah, made out of dirt, hallelujah. I have to bath every day. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you, you don't, you, do you understand what I'm saying? This is a per, per, perpetual process that goes on every day because I'm a cardinal body and I got a cardinal mind by nature and I have to pray every day, every day, every every season, every second of my life to let God, I have to take off and put on what God has called me to do. Because I'm a human being and I'm frail. Anybody frail out here? You can be as masculine as you can and be frail. Huh? I have to pray every day. I don't know about you. When I get up here, when I get ready to come to church, when I, I'm in prayer, I, I'm praying every day because sometimes I'm scared to death. I want to give you what God's word says. I don't want to give you my fleshly body, my fleshly understanding. I don't want to give you three points in a poem. I got to give you what God is saying. If I don't do that, then I'm in trouble with God. Hello, I don't need. You can throw all the rocks you can at me like they did Stephen. But I, you know, when God starts throwing things at you, it's scary. See, because I got to go before God every day and ask for strength. And, and every day I got to ask him for forgiveness. And so, that should, so that should become my normal. Amen? Every day it should be my normal to ask God to walk with me and talk with me. And I should not yield my strength to something normal. Or sit in the bathtub focusing on soap. It's just a normal process. I must have my mind on something else or I won't live my life abundantly. I'll focus on minor issues when I could be a major player because I'm preoccupied with something that is normal. Hello? You wake up in the morning, you either have coffee or whatever, that's normal. You go wash your face, get in the tub, whatever you have to do. That's normal. What's not normal is when you get up in the morning and you go on your knees like I do in the morning and you ask God, God, I don't know what today's going to bring because the devil's standing there waiting to trip me up. He's, a, he's an enemy of mine. He's an enemy of my Lord and Savior. And he's out to kill, steal, and destroy. i got to be prepared. Though I walk through the valleys of the shadow of death, I'm not going to fear no evil because God is with me. Right. And I can't focus on my human frailty. My, one of my hair to be right. Yeah, don't laugh. 